Hey, I'm Drew Dimmler. I'm the director of horticulture with the Great State Fair of Texas. At the Big Tex Urban Farms, we grow food in an asphalt parking lot and now indoors in this greenhouse. And today we're gonna to be installing a new piece of technology. It's called a, a nano bubbler from the company Moliere. We're super excited about it. We think it's really gonna help out how quickly our crop grows and how productive the system can be. My name is Warren. I'm here from Moliere. Moliere is a nanobubble technology company. We're based in Los Angeles, California. We've developed a line of nanobubble generators which we apply in a wide variety of markets and applications. Today we're here to demonstrate our NanoBoost, which is a, a line of nanobubble generators which we've developed for the hydroponic market. And we're here to show you just how simply these can be installed, how easy they are to operate, and the differentiator, how uh, effective a nanobubble aeration system can compare to conventional ways of delivering oxygen to water. Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris Higgins. I'm one of the owners and general manager at Port Americas. Port Americas is a wholesale supply company working in the world of controlled environment agriculture. And our goal in showing this today is to show grower an option and better managing the root system, which will allow them to produce plants year round in a hot and humid condition to service local markets, or in the case of the State Fair, to service an underserved market uh, with fresh produce year round. I'm Neilish Marar, I'm with Ford Americas, and I'm working with Big Tex Urban Farms here today on the installation of the Moliere Nano Boost. And we're using this diagram here today. Our pond is 14 by 44 feet, and it's a pretty simple setup. We're coming in on the intake side, the one and a half inch pipe through the Moliere, and then back out with the one inch all the way across the pond. We're using this PNID diagram that's supplied by Moliere. Basically has all the specs for plumbing, gas, and electric. And we will start the installation on the uh, discharge side and work our way backwards today. So this one is at 36 feet. My total pond length is 44 feet, by the way. So our first emitter is gonna be at 36 feet. The next one's gonna be at 22 feet. Okay, so so far we're working on our discharge line. So we've got our end cap, our first emitter, our second emitter, and now we're on moving on to our third. These are the end caps that we're using for our emitters. And you can see I've drilled a series of holes in each one of them. So that's just gonna help to create equal pressure throughout the pond um, so that each emitter is going to emit roughly the same amount. So the, there's going to be a larger one at the end, a medium sized one in the middle, and then the smallest orifice goes here. First step is we're just going to tee it off so we can go back up and over. It's a T and a bushing, a threaded bushing, and all this does is allow us to uh, snake a hose onto this for when we go to prime the pump. It's not a self-priming pump, so we'll just attach a water hose to fill the water column. So uh, we're going to set up the air. You're going to start with an oxygen tank and connect it to an air regulator. We use a quarter inch air hose to connect to the nano boost. I have a quick connect right there. Pretty easy to install. Just pull it back and away you go. This bottom gauge is going to show your flow out to the nano boost. We're going to take it today to about 130 PSI. And the top gauge is going to show you how much oxygen is in the tank. Once that gets depleted, obviously, they'll have to switch out tanks. So now we're gonna turn on the Nano Boost. Um, just click the on button here. 
Let's use our DO meter to check uh, our dissolved oxygen levels. And we're at roughly 17.4 um, parts per million. You'll also know with the nanobubbles and the way we've designed the system is that we should get pretty much even levels of dissolved oxygen around the pond. And so let's just go check one more spot. Initial impression, I couldn't say enough good things about this. It's easy, it's simple to install, and it's gonna help us grow a premium product.